Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we will be discussing the fetal biophysical profiles. Fetal biophysical profile, BPP, considers several parameters. BPP using real-time ultrasonography has a high predictive value. Indication. Non-reactive NST, high-risk pregnancy. Test frequency weekly after a normal NST, and twice weekly after an abnormal test. Modified biophysical profile consists of NST and ultrasonographically determined amniotic fluid index, AFI. Modified BPP is considered abnormal, non-reassuring, when the NST is non-reactive and or the AFI is less than 5. The biophysical profile, BPP, is a prenatal screening test that assesses the well-being and development of a fetus during pregnancy. It is typically performed in the third trimester and combines ultrasound evaluation with fetal heart rate monitoring. The BPP evaluates five specific biophysical parameters to determine the overall health of the fetus. 1. Ultrasound evaluation. Fetal movement. This parameter assesses the fetus's gross motor movements. The sonographer observes and records the number of movements made by the fetus within a specific time frame. Fetal tone. It measures the level of muscle tone exhibited by the fetus. The sonographer looks for flexion and extension movements of the fetal limbs. Amniotic fluid volume. This parameter evaluates the quantity of amniotic fluid surrounding the fetus. A sufficient amount of amniotic fluid is crucial for the fetus's protection and growth. Fetal breathing movements. It assesses the presence of rhythmic movements of the fetus's chest wall, indicating the proper functioning of the respiratory system. Two. Fetal heart rate monitoring. Non-stress test, NST, the fetal heart rate is monitored using a Doppler device or an electronic fetal heart rate monitor. The test measures the heart rate response of the fetus to its own movements. Each parameter is assigned a score of either 0 or 2 points, depending on whether it is absent or present, respectively. The maximum score attainable is 10. The BPP results are interpreted as follows. 8 to 10. Normal. The fetus is considered to be in a healthy condition. 6. Borderline. Further evaluation or monitoring may be required. 4 or less. Abnormal. Additional testing and intervention are usually recommended. In cases where the BPP score is low or concerning, additional tests such as a contraction stress test or umbilical artery Doppler may be performed to gather more information about the fetus's well-being. The BPP is a valuable tool for monitoring fetal health and is often used in situations where there may be a risk to the fetus, such as high-risk pregnancies, decreased fetal movement, or certain medical conditions. It helps healthcare providers make informed decisions regarding the timing and method of delivery, ensuring the well-being of both the mother and the baby. It is important to note that the interpretation of BPP results should be done by a qualified healthcare professional who can consider the overall clinical picture and individual circumstances of the pregnancy. The modified biophysical profile, MBPP, is a variation of the traditional biophysical profile, BPP, that focuses on assessing only two parameters, fetal movement and amniotic fluid volume. It is a simplified version of the BPP that can be performed more quickly and is often used when time or resources are limited. The MBPP evaluates the following two parameters. 1. Fetal movement. This parameter assesses the fetal gross motor movements. The healthcare provider or sonographer observes and records the number of movements made by the fetus within a specific time frame. Adequate fetal movement indicates a healthy nervous system and well-being. 2. Amniotic fluid volume. This parameter evaluates the quantity of amniotic fluid surrounding the fetus. Sufficient amniotic fluid is essential for the fetus's protection, growth, and proper functioning of various systems. Each parameter is assigned a score of either 0 or 2 points, depending on whether it is absent or present, respectively. The maximum score attainable is 4. The MBPP results are interpreted as follows. 4. Normal. The fetus is considered to be in a healthy condition. 2. Borderline. Further evaluation or monitoring may be required. 0. Abnormal. Additional testing and intervention are usually recommended. Similar to the BPP, if the MBPP results are concerning or abnormal, further tests or interventions may be necessary to assess the overall well-being of the fetus. The MBPP provides a quicker assessment of fetal well-being compared to the full BPP and can be useful in situations where time is limited, 
such as when there are scheduling constraints or when a rapid assessment is needed. However, it is important to note that the MBPP does not provide as comprehensive information as the BPP, which evaluates additional parameters such as fetal tone and fetal breathing movements. Thank you for watching. If you like the video please like, subscribe and comment.